What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Doing the Glen Turret Peat Smoke 10 year old. This one's from 2022, uh, bottled at 50%. These just started getting to Canada now. Uh, they weren't available here for a while. Only a, I think one store has the rights to their whiskeys, um, which is kind of interesting, but really cool stuff. Uh, bottled, like I said, at 50%. This one on the nose has a beautiful like barbecue style peat. So I'm gonna get right into it. Sweet, malty. The malt still shines despite the fact that this is peated. Wonder if they're using like a longer fermentation process like some of the uh, big name distilleries or the popular distilleries nowadays, like Springbank, for example. Yeah, honestly, the nose is beautiful. If you're a pea fan, you're gonna love the nose on this. It's all barbecue, uh, barbecue house type smoke, barbecue sauced ribs, pulled pork, that kind of stuff. Hickory. And then there's some like sweet apple, some lemon notes. Some sort of like fruit sauce, like applesauce, like smoky applesauce, hickory smoked applesauce kind of note. Really nice on the nose, on the palate. Wow, I really like this. I liked it from day one. The neck pour was fine. Um, it's still awesome. The perfect amount of heat, exactly what I'm looking for when I'm looking at a whiskey, 50% ABV. I don't think this is chill filtered. I don't think there's added color. It's just a well-made whiskey. Um, Lalique bought Glen Turret, hence the fancy bottles, the fancy glass. Uh, Lalique is the best in the game when it comes to glass making. That's why McAllen was using them for so long because their craftsmanship is incredible. But they got smart, they bought a, their own distillery and now they're doing it themselves. Yeah, delicious. I mean, not to say that they weren't smart before that. They were selling to the likes of McAllen, who I'm sure paid them handsomely. Uh, but now, they took all the things that they learned in the scotch industry by working with McAllen, decided to cater to a whiskey lover, whiskey geek style fan uh, by going higher ABVs, by going unchill filter, natural color, all that stuff. And to top it off, they have probably one of the best bottles in the game. Um, I mean, it may not be for everybody, but all these bottles you can use later on if you just wipe off the labels with some hot water and soap. You can use these for infinity bottles. You can use these for uh, decanters. They're gorgeous, all right? I have the 12 behind me as well. Um, the bottle shouldn't matter that much. Obviously, it's what's inside that matters, and that's not lacking here at all. The nose is gorgeous. Exactly what I want in a peated whiskey. This is a Highland, and for them to get that kind of peat blows my mind. It almost reminds me of a Port Charlotte. Dare I say, not as harsh as a Port Charlotte 10 year old. I would actually love to do them head to head because the Port Charlotte 10 um, is the exact same ABV, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. There's like a nice salty note on the palate that uh, hickory applesauce comes through, a touch of lemon, bar like back bacon, that kind of stuff, smoky back bacon.
That's excellent. Honestly, that's excellent. I can't remember what I paid for this. I think it was just north of a hundred bucks. Uh, maybe a little bit less, actually. Maybe closer to 80 bucks. Um, I'll confirm that for you. I'll put it right here. Um, really good. Excellent whiskey. Highly recommend this, especially sub $150. Uh, you're gonna love this whiskey. That's an 87 for me, which is a really, really good score. Um, maybe even an 87 and a half. It's that good, all right? So, highly recommend you buy it. Delicious stuff. So far, I've been very impressed with uh, Glen Turret. They have uh, impressed me with both of the expressions that I've tried from them. Hoping to try some older stuff, but the price starts to get significantly uh, high as you get to the 25 year old. So I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to try that, but this one's really good. Very happy with it. I'll definitely buy that again. Hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked the video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You can hit the bell to get notifications when I release videos. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.